morning YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a minute. It's been a while since I've recorded. It's been since like last spring, winter, early in the year, but welcome back. I am starting a, a new series and I want you guys to be part of it because this is how I'm going to hold myself accountable and get to where I want to go and have my goals. So, um, what is this series called? This series is going to be called Become. Uh, become is defined as begin to be. And to me, I have always loved this because it opens up a whole lot of possibilities. Uh, begin to be what? Begin to be our best. Begin to be who God designed us to be. To begin to be anything. And so that is what the series is going to be about. It's going to be about becoming or beginning to be the best versions of ourselves. Uh, this is always what Writing Strong has meant to me. Uh, it's always uh, been becoming the best version of ourselves in and out of the saddle, in and out of the arena every day. And to be honest with you guys, 2018 has gone really well in some ways. It's also gone not so well in other ways. I uh, moved, <laughs> started a brand new job, moved home, uh, basically turned my life upside down within the first three months of the year. I had foot surgery. I uh, did a lot. And in some ways, it's been a really good year. I won the buckle I wanted to win on my gelding. And I've also not gone how I wanted to with my fitness goals. So with that being said, what is the series going to be about? It's going to be about figuring out what I want to be doing and um, not even just that, but figuring out my fitness journey and where I want to go with that and focusing on the ways that my fitness journey is going to be benefiting me. It's not just, um, you know, stepping up on stage. A lot of my friends are bikini competitors, which is amazing. I support them 100%, but at the same time, that's not who I am. I'm not a bikini competitor. I'm also not a uh, powerlifting athlete. I like being strong, but that's not my main goal. My goal is to be the best horseback rider I can be. I want to compete. I want to show my mare uh, at a really high level or as high as a level that she can physically go. And that means I need to be on top of my game. So this series is going to include a couple things. Uh, the first one is going to be fitness. It's a, uh, I wouldn't say it's going to be a strict fitness vlog channel, but it's going to contain fitness. You'll see workouts, you'll see food and nutrition. You're going to see a lot of things, but it's also going to be riding. That's what riding strong is. It's horses, it's riding. So you're going to see a lot of riding. You're going to see me being goofy with my horses. You're going to see my mare a lot because she's honestly the cutest thing in the whole world. Uh, you're also going to have some real talk. I am a big believer in my faith. I go to church. I read my Bible. So you're probably going to get some of that. You're going to get life goals. You're going to get business talk because I'm growing a business and a brand at the same time. So you're going to get a lot of different things because to become the best version of yourself or to begin to be isn't just fitness related. It's the whole picture. So anyway, here are uh, my goals, my current, or not my goals, my current stats. So today, August 8th, 2018, and I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not where I want to be physically. I've really let some things slip and slide over the last year because I've had a lot of life happen and that's okay, that's life. Now it's just getting back to where I want to be. So starting weight, 176.4, and that's this morning. I've honestly been fluctuating up and down five to seven pounds either direction, uh, depending on how much I've been drinking or how much food I've been eating or not eating or staying hydrated. Um, waist 31 and three quarter inch, left quad 23 inches, right quad 23 and three quarter inches, and the bootie is 42 and a quarter inches. Now, what are my goals for my body? I don't know if I could tell you I have a specific goal. Sure, you know, losing weight, losing body fat is at the top of my list, but at the same time, I wanna be athletic, I want to um, be strong, and I wanna be able to ride. So if that means I only lose 10 pounds, then I only lose 10 pounds. If that means I stay where I'm at, but I achieve those things, then sure. Um, I probably won't stay where I'm at because I've been honestly just like dicking around the last couple months. So, <laughs> this is gonna be different. Um, but anyway, so th these are my starting points. I picked these measurements because I know I can consistently measure myself at those four tape measures um, every time, and I'll use the same scale. How often am I gonna retake these? Maybe once a month, maybe once every six weeks, we'll see. But 
anyway, um, those are the actual stats. I'll do a physique update really quick so you guys see where I'm at. Hopefully, it's close enough anyway. Front view, can do here as well. Side view, and from the back, I guess we can do here too. Back, and then other side. So anyway, like I was saying, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm also a lot more mentally happy than where I was last year. So right now it's just getting the mentality and the uh, mental state to match the physical state. So anyway, today's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go uh, ride. Kira and I are gonna go haul some horses out to the arena and get a ride in. Hopefully the grounds aren't too wet because it's been raining like crazy in Colorado. Um, and then from there, I'm gonna do some more business work today because I've been kind of slacking on that kind of been story of my life the last couple months have been slacking and then work out later this afternoon so anyway I'll see you guys in the next clip and thank you for tuning in so here's a life for you you haul your horse out to the arena to go ride with your friend and he throws a shoe in the trailer and it's freezing cold because that makes sense for August in Colorado it's good it's good have a fun ride though.